Hello guys, welcome back to your creations. Hope you all are liking the videos uploaded in my channel. If you like the contents, please like, comment and subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want to receive the notifications from my channel. So today's video is about the how YouTube calculates the invalid traffic or invalid clicks is what algorithm they use and how can we understand that uh, the ways to reduce the clicks or the invalid clicks from our channel. So basically uh, before going to how to stop this invalid click activity i should i like to explain what do you mean by invalid clicks or invalid traffic so invalid traffic in youtube can be tracked by a simple method likewise you know the fact that uh, so many ads are playing in your monetized channels so likewise if you are the same person who is watching your own videos in a YouTube from a Google ID. So what happens like uh, you also came to know that there are similar ads which is played in your video. That means uh, if, if a smartphone ad is being played in your video, it's not necessary that that ad won't come in to your other videos too. So once you click on the particular ad, so once you made a click to the smartphone ad from your channel, and this gets stored in the YouTube repository, okay, as a click. So again, if you're watching another video for getting a revenue from your channel, for your channel, and you're clicking on the same ad again from your same channel, what happens? It's redundant clicks, right? So it's the same click, which is happening again and again on the same ad from the same channel. So that means it, is an invalid click. So this is one of the ways that YouTube analyzes the invalid traffic from your channel. The second thing that how YouTube tracks this is using your IP address. That means suppose you haven't signed in to any of your Google IDs and uh, you are watching the videos and you're clicking on the ads. So it's not necessary that we have to sign into the Google IDs in order to watch the videos in YouTube. So we are not signing into the accounts. And, but we are still watching the videos and you are uploading or you are watching the videos in the YouTube and you're clicking on the ads which is coming over there. So you want to trick YouTube that you are, it's a, it's, it's a genuine click, but YouTube will also check the IP address from which the click is came from. So that uh, if you are having multiple IDs or if you're having, if you're not signing into the accounts and watching the videos and clicking on the ads, it doesn't mean that it will generate revenue for you. It means that you are clicking on the same ad again and again. So that means from the same IP address so that the YouTube will track it and will bring down your channel or suspend your channel for from monetization program. That's so the second factor, IP address. Third factor is a Mac, Mac address. So each and every system, like each and every electronic device, like uh, computer, like laptops, like mobile phone, or are having a unique MAC address. So you people use uh, maybe like VPN uh, to change the location from maybe India from to UK or US or Pakistan or Afghanistan or UAE to generate more revenue. So depending upon, the, you all know that uh, depending upon the geographical location, the revenue varies. That means, uh, so there is a currency change, right? So that means uh, the revenue which is earned by a person who is located in UK, or suppose you are uploading a video to YouTube and one person from India is watching it and a second person from UK is watching it and both clicks on the ads played in the video. It's from where you earn the highest revenue from, it's from UK. So what people do is that they install a VPN uh, application to your mobile or to the computer or to the laptop and they click, they click on the VPN application to change the location from India or Pakistan to UAE, Qatar or UK or US. So that the each click costs him or each clicks make his revenue go up a particular limit. So that means uh, VPN, it's not an authorized program or authorized application which can be used for YouTube. So that's a banned program, but people are using it to increase their revenue. So how they check it? If VPN is used, what happens here is the IP address of the system also changes. So that uh, the people think that the lab, the YouTube can't actually track those. So 
my question is whether the YouTube track those services or track those uh, creators who are using VPN for their videos or VPN for watching their videos or VPN for clicking their ads on the videos, do they track it? The answer is yes. There is something called MAC address. MAC address is very unique that we can't change it because it's a manufacturing address so that it is embedded to each and every electronic device and it's a unique code. So that means you can't change it by using any application which is downloaded from Google Play Store or any other certified or uncertified websites. So these are the three factors which is used up by YouTube to track down the invalid traffic in your channel. So again, reiterating the first factor being the clicks on the same ads on the same from the same ID or from the same IP address or from the same MAC address. So that is something that you have to focus on. So don't ever click on the same ads, on the ads which is played on your own video from different IDs or from different uh, profiles or from different web browsers, the YouTube will be able to track it. So hope you guys understand what is meant by invalid traffic and where it is coming from and how YouTube tracks this. So hope you like this video. If you like this video, please like, comment and subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want to receive the notifications from my channel. Have a great day. Stay safe and stay healthy.